So for this DIY, you're just going to need a shoe box and a few different size paper towel rolls. Put the lid inside of the box to make sure that it fits properly, you can cut it if you need to, and then you're going to start sizing up the different rolls. You can do them all the same size, but I decided to do them variegated, that way it looked realistic, like I had different books on my shelf. So I just cut some of the paper towel roll off that way they laid a little bit flatter and weren't so round again it's all preference there's really no right or wrong way to do this and you could do as many books or as few books as you wish I then took a sharpie and traced along the line so that way I could cut out what part of the shoebox lid I did not need and then I just hot glued the paper towel rolls to the shoebox lid Now this next step is optional, but I thought it would be cool to just print out some different fonts for the titles. I went into PicMonkey and just made a very similar stencil or template for the books that I had and put my favorite holiday books on there with different Christmas styled fonts and then you can just print them out, but like I said, this is completely optional. This whole thing is completely optional really. There are so many different ways that you can do this DIY, but this was what I went with. Then I just cut out the names and the authors of the books and used a glue stick to put them on the books. I didn't really worry too much about how they were going to look on there because I am covering them regardless with paint. The paint is just so that I have a nice base for decorating the rest of the books. I wanted them to look super ornate so I chose just a white color so that way all of the different textures that I put on there really popped. I'm using some gold leaf and just kind of staggering it around on a few of the books. Um, you can use whatever you want, different paint, glitter, fabric. This is some decoupage paper that I picked up at Michael's from the Martha Stewart line. I also went into the scrapbook section and found some really great little gems that were on clearance that fit the color scheme perfectly. I also used some copper and gold markers and paint to just continue to add in that really glamorous look that I wanted these books to have. The cool thing is that this also works as a storage unit on your bookshelf. Now this next DIY is this Rustic Star Mobile. I thought this would be kind of a cool idea because chances are you have some trees in your backyard and I just went out and found a bunch of sticks and decided to make these hot glued stars to hang in my bedroom. It just gives it that winter feel. You can leave them up all year round. They don't necessarily have to be super Christmassy and that's how I like to do my decorations. I like them to be transitional and last me the whole winter. That way I can enjoy them longer. All I did was use some different types of twine as well around the corners just to give it a more put together look. Now I did paint these with a little bit of silver paint and then took some twine and just tied them at different levels and hung them on a branch. Now for this next DIY I took a canvas that I got at the art and craft store and then did different size twigs and hot glued them onto the canvas for my own little Christmas tree in my bedroom. Then I had some old jewelry that I wasn't using anymore and I just kind of broke it apart and used the pieces to hot glue on as ornaments. Like I said, you could use whatever you want. Seashells is really cool. You could just do glitter paint. I did end up using some acrylic paint and some glitter around the outside just to kind of tie everything together. As you can see, I have a very like rustic and metallic theme going on here. 
You could also do words with this kind of DIY or stars, reindeer, but I decided to do a tree. Now this next DIY, you're just going to need some thread, needles, and a cotton, a bag of cotton balls, and you're going to thread the cotton balls onto the thread, <laughs> and you can stagger them and do as many as you want, but this is just so that I can make a really cool garland that is hanging in my bedroom, and it just looks really cool and looks like snowballs. Then I went to Joanne Fabrics and picked up some different styles in the flannels and the fleece department they were having a really great sale and you can just get fabric glue and glue two pieces together to create your own blanket which I think is nice to just kind of decorate your room with throws and not spend a fortune on really really nice blankets that you may not use all year round now this next DIY I am so excited to share with you because if you didn't know I'm an illustrator by trade and um, I wanted to do something that incorporated that so I actually have these available in a PDF form that you can print out and cut on cardstock for yourself but they're just a little Christmas village which is based upon a village um, in Delaware, in Lewis, Delaware. I grew up there and wanted to share it with you guys so this is a very special DIY for me but you guys can just print them out and then cut them leaving a little bit of um, extra paper to fold over so that they stand up straight and I put these on the back side of my headboard with lights and you could put this on a mantle if you wanted or a buffet table something like that but I think it's so cute and definitely gives it that anthropology style. This next DIY is super easy. I had a bunch of old um, vases lying around my house and I took some twigs and just glued them all around the outside to give a candle holder a new look so you just glue them stick a candle in there and you have a really cool rustic votive that looks awesome all year round so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you want to be notified when I have new videos out but I still have some holiday stuff coming out for you guys and I cannot wait to share it with you I will talk to you soon in my next video bye